Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. Have you ever read a book or watched a movie and came across a dish you never had before, then really wanted to try it? That's exactly what happened to me after watching the movie Fools Rush In. And here's the recipe I'm referring to. Albandigas, which is a Mexican meatball soup. It's incredibly delicious, plus so satisfying. Perfect for this time of year. So let's get cooking. First, we'll make the meatballs. In a large bowl, we'll add lean ground beef, finely chopped white onions, then long grain white rice, followed by pressed garlic, a couple of them, one beaten egg, and some chopped cilantro. We'll now season with ground cumin, chipotle chili powder, Mexican oregano, but the regular one is fine too, some ground sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. With our clean hands, because it works better that way, we'll combine the ingredients until nicely mixed. We'll cover with plastic wrap, making sure it touches the surface of the meat mixture to prevent it from drying out, and transfer to the fridge for one hour to allow the flavors to develop. So, 60 minutes later, we're ready to roll. With our hands slightly wet with water, we'll shape the meatballs to about one and a half inches in diameter and place them on a baking sheet lined with foil that has been lightly greased with cooking spray. When we're done, we should have around 28 meatballs and transfer them to a 425 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 20 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, rotating the baking sheet halfway through cooking. Meanwhile, we'll start the soup. In a Dutch oven over medium-high heat, we'll add oil, and when it starts shimmering, we'll add white onions, poblano peppers, and carrots. We'll season with ground sea salt and saute the vegetables for five minutes. Next, we'll add the pressed garlic and quickly saute it for one minute before adding chipotle pepper in adobo. To be accurate when dealing with this ingredient, I like to puree it and portion it. To see how, click on the top right corner of your screen to view it. So we'll stir until the ingredients are nicely coated with it. We'll now add the potatoes, a can of diced tomatoes, although you can make your own tomate concasse, a can of corn kernels, and also a can of tomato sauce. But if you want to make my marinara sauce recipe, here's the link on your screen. We'll pour in some beef broth. I'm using low sodium here. Stir very well until everything is nicely combined. Increase the heat to high and bring the mixture to a boil. We'll reduce to medium low and simmer for 10 minutes, stirring often. Now, back to the meatballs. When they reach the internal temperature, we'll remove them from the heat and set aside until needed. All right, so when the 10 minutes is up, we'll add the zucchini, some dried Mexican oregano leaves, but the regular one is fine, ground cumin, and of course, the two usual suspects, ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll mix the ingredients together, re-increase the heat to high so the mixture is back to a boil, cover with the lid slightly ajar, reduce the heat again, and simmer gently for another 10 minutes, or until the potatoes and the zucchini are tender. When time is up, if the potatoes and zucchini are not quite tender yet, but almost there, it's fine because we'll now add our baked meatballs to the soup. We'll push down on the meatballs so they're submerged into the liquid 
And when the mixture is back to a simmer, we'll start the timer for five minutes or until the meatballs are heated through and the rest of the ingredients are finished cooking. We'll serve the soup in warm bowls, add some freshly squeezed lime juice and chopped cilantro. And my friends, this is our albondigas. This Mexican meatball soup is so tasty. With a gorgeous combination of fresh ingredients, this flavorful meal is one everyone will enjoy this winter. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!